Moira, one of my favorite heroes, but also one of the most hated on heroes. There's always been a stigma against Moira players who do any sort of decent damage in a match, but is that really such a bad thing? Let's do some experimenting and find out. Moira was my first main from when I started Overwatch 1, which is ironic that she got chosen for this video, and we'll talk about why later. But first, we start Hour 1 of the 10 Hour Moira Challenge. I didn't necessarily need to do this, but to keep with tradition, I warmed up in quick play for the first hour just to get my head wrapped around this hero and prep myself for what's to come. I was reminded that quick play is a safe space. Even though I haven't been playing much Overwatch lately, I got some wins and even landed a play of the game. Nothing too crazy happened in these games as I already kind of knew what I was doing. And just to remind you guys, I did a challenge in my last video where I played mystery heroes and whoever I ended up alting with the most got chosen for this video. I'm pretty happy we got Moira because I finally might get a chance to actually master her. After over 50 hours of playtime with Moira, it was about time we make this video, which brings us to hours two and three competitive. This took me quite some time to finish my placement matches and there's a few reasons why. Most of the games were good and when they were good, they were really good. And I hate to be that guy, but I ran into a few situations where my teammates were... Hello. Yeah, you, you know how it goes. This was my first game in comp and it really killed my motivation, but this doom was completely throwing. He would run into the middle of the fight and immediately die. Every time. No amount of healing was going to keep him alive. And despite that performance, somehow this happened. What? I averaged more healing than damage during these matches, but I still wanted to help my team by aiming for kills and taking out support. It even got recognized by our opponents, like this Mercy who no one was looking at except for me. <laughs> Come on! For only losing two matches, with one game being with Doomfist, as I mentioned before, and the other being a disconnect from one of my teammates, I'd say it went pretty well. Yep, that's how we do. But overall, my gameplay was decent, and I needed to focus on where I could improve. So here's what I figured out. Moira is easy to escape with when you get in trouble, so I needed to insert myself into fights a little bit more and dash away when my health started to get low. Her balls should be put to good use, meaning wherever I throw them, they should have a lasting effect by utilizing wall bounces to damage enemies and the same effect when healing myself and teammates. So, in order to master that, that's right, I went into custom matches. This code helps you determine the range of healing and damage streams as well as hitbox detection. My aim is pretty good so I focused more on the distance thing and even found a way to see how far coalescence can travel. Next I went into another workshop. This one I didn't quite figure out how to activate properly but seeing how it was an open map I was able to practice anyway. I'm talking about fade boosting or jumping or whatever you call it when you it's when you travel further with Moira. I don't think this is extremely important to know, but I thought I could practice a bit and see where it goes. After this training, I felt pretty confident with my range. So I headed back into quick play to practice fade busts in actual games and see if any of that helped. It was, uh, I, I can do it like 55% of the time. Hello. In my previous matches, I felt like I had a good balance of doing damage and healing my teammates, but there was one problem that I couldn't stop thinking about. Even when I was constantly healing my teammates, they were still dying. So after all my bad experiences, I couldn't blame them anymore. I had to be the savior. I had to become a DPS Moira. New game plan. From now on, my number one goal was to deal more damage than heals. This doesn't necessarily mean to not focus on heals, but more about actively doing damage so that I didn't have to heal as much. Math. So back into comp, I went to reach five wins and get a new rank, hoping I would at least go up, or better yet, reach plat once again. The set of rounds went kind of rough. Uh, 
There were a couple of comments about me doing damage and not healing enough, but we don't care what they say. This is for science. I did have some good plays, but I found uh... it hard to resist healing as much because people were taking damage so quickly. But the reality is, if I was going to be a DPS Moira, I had to commit or it just wasn't going to work. Am I what? Now, of course, what would Overwatch be if I didn't mention how some of my tanks I'm were in. making me want to jump off of Elios? I know I can't be that delusional because I'm not the only one seeing it. All right, ready? Watch this tick. I'm calling it. He's going to rush straight down the middle and die. Wow. Okay, let him cook. Let him cook, guys. I just saved him. That ball saved Oak. Okay. But hey, we digress and avoid as teammate. Check out this fade burn. Oh, that's how you do it. So as my games went on, it got way better and I felt a lot more comfortable. One, two. And I ended up ranking up to gold one. <sighs> it's not a huge jump, but I improved. <laughs> that was perfect. You die. You die. You know what? I'll take that. that those are big numbers. Get off my Can I do this? Yes. Yes. No, no. A turret. There's a turret. You. Yeah. Oh. You. Yeah. Holy. I honestly didn't keep track of my damage to heal ratio. I'm in you. But overall, it was either a little more damage or it was pretty even. Uh-huh. Yes. All right. For hour eight, I spent my time doing a couple different things. First, I searched up some tips on Moira, which I've already done before many times, but you can never get enough knowledge when trying to get better. After realizing that I may not be perfect at everything to do with Moira, I do already grasp the concepts and I was running low on time. So I'll definitely try and implement more angles, placement and damage. I watched some actual good players to get me hyped up for my final run. When I say final run, I do mean my last round of placement matches. But also I mentioned earlier, it was ironic that my first main was chosen for this video. Overwatch hasn't really been tickling my fancy lately, if I'm being honest with myself, but I have recently found joy in gaming again through other things. And those of you who visit me on Twitch and Kick know what I'm talking about. I want to enjoy making the content I'm putting out. So with that being said, this may very well be the final run on YouTube for Overwatch for now. I'm gonna roll the montage and let you know now that I didn't reach my goal of beating my personal best, but it's been an experience and I can't wait to show you guys what I've been working on for the future. Introduction, cause they know Brit and Mo. I hit the lotto, my model roll up gelato and throttle. A couple models to Kyle who fucking brought up the bottles. I'm gone ham. This ain't even luck all planned. Y'all know who the fucks I am. Burning bucks, smoke bands. Always been the MO since the start of this. And now I'm on a mission like a Martimus. Hey, we gon' turn the crib into a club like Hennessy and Buddha screaming thug life. Get it, baby, you know I'm the club, right? But we got a feeling that it's gonna be a long night. Four hours up in the day, I gotta make it right. 